there's a question again posted on the YouTube by Aksa Fatima. I want to ask, after a woman's fourth baby birth via cesarean section, is it halal to isolate the uterus for reproduction further for further reproduction, as it would be life-threatening for the baby and the mother, both if she goes for the fifth baby? The sister asked the question that if a woman has undergone four cesarean section, so can she see to it that she does something like isolate the uterus or does a ligation of the fallopian tube or does certain things so that she will not have other babies in future because if she has the fifth baby, it would be detrimental to her life. Detrimental to her life. Now regarding a woman having four cesarean section, generally, if you have section, would be very dangerous. So if you consult a gynecologist, not one, at least two, and if you consult two gynecologists and both of them certify that you had four cesarean section and the fourth cesarean section would be detrimental to your life, will be life threatening, there's high chances that you will die. In this case, it is permitted that you can use certain methods like ligation of the fallopian tube or certain methods of family planning in which you will not give birth further to any children. This is permitted because in Islam, let a small loss take place to prevent a big loss. The small losses, you are not having children, but the big losses, you are saving your life. So you are saving the life of the mother, by doing that you are preventing childbirth. Otherwise, generally, doing any method of permanent family planning, it is prohibited unless the life of the mother is in danger. In such cases where two gynecologists certify that having another pregnancy or maybe the mother has certain heart problems and if the heart specialist says that another pregnancy would be detrimental to her life, she may die, then if two heart specialists certify that because of a heart problem if she gives, if she has another pregnancy and it will be detrimental to her life, then in such cases, permanent method of family planning can be adopted as a last resort to secure the life of the mother. Hope that answers the question. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam barakatuh. I am Abdul Mukit. My question is, is it appropriate to keep a woman at home after divorce in Islam? Regarding as far as once a husband gives divorce to the wife, it is very important that during the period of Idda, she should be given the same facility as she was while she was married. So when divorce is given, it is very important that the same facility should be given to the wife during the period of Idda, so that, you know, in this trial period, of the three menstrual cycle, they should have the same facility. While doing this, if she if she leaves the house, and if there is a if there is a situation where the husband cannot provide another house, or the wife cannot go back to her house, or if there is no other possibility, the parents have the parents have died, and no other situation is there, then as a last resort, of course, she can stay in the same house, but. The precaution should be taken that she cannot have a relationship with the husband. Because if a relationship takes place, then that means ruju has taken place. That means the idda has stopped and they have again joined and they become like husband and wife. So if they have relationship, if they have uh, relationship, if they have intimacy in this period, then the divorce is nullified and they again live like husband and wife. Hope that answers the question.